Can I run? That's <laughs> funny, look at him run. I think I need to go up here. Those leggies. <laughs> Our man came this way. Run, run. Uh. But why have we come back to Baker Street? It would have been better to join Baines to interrogate those criminals. No, in the hands of the police, those crooks won't talk, and you know it. They risk being hanged. I don't understand anything here. <laughs> anything. We must explore all <laughs> our leads. Let us take a look at the map of London. It's so funny because Watson is constantly confused and outraged <laughs> by everything that happens. And he keeps helping Sherlock and still he is confused. Alright, so we're at Baker Street. I didn't pay attention. What did Sherlock say? Uh, whoops. Oh, maybe... Uh... I didn't write it down. No, I don't think it did. Right, so I guess we need to go to that other location then. This one, Kensington Gardens, because we've been at Whitechapel, we've been at Chill, so I guess so. We have arrived. The bishop's nephew lives here. Yes, he runs a ground floor room. Is that maybe when your view, uh, they assume that you would choose first person view? Is that why the game does that maybe? Why can I look at this gate I just Nothing came? of interest here. Right, so why can I look at it then? Can I help you gentlemen? How do you do madam? We should like to see one of your lodgers, Henry Hamford. Well he's away. And you must understand, I don't open my door to strangers. Especially with all these prowlers about. That is the reason for our visit. You're the police? No, Henry is a friend of ours. He expressed his concern to us about these intruders. We're here at his request. I'm not surprised. Mr. Henry, while he might seem strange at first, is a thoughtful and kind man. You must have noticed how worried I've been. Uh -oh. Why, just this morning some of my washing was stolen. And I'm sure it was those ones who took it. It seems like the best place to start our investigation. May we step into your garden and then perhaps look into our friend's room? I don't see anything wrong with your looking over the garden, but his room... You understand, he didn't warn me. I understand. I will find a different way, is what Sherlock is thinking. What should we do next, Holmes? Let's have a look in the garden. You just said that. Watson, why do you need to ask me? But which way is the garden? Now why were we here again? I forgot already. Indeed, there appears to be some linen missing. Without a doubt, it is the linen belonging to Henry's landlady. Could be a pervert. Could be someone poor. There should be a spade here. How do you know that? A small pickaxe. Hmm. Closed. I wanted to say, is it just open? It's not. That would be too easy. What's this? Tins of food tied to one another. These look like cups to me, but... The wire seems long enough. They look to me as though they're rudimentary traps used to indicate the presence of intruders. Oh, what a jumble. <laughs> what a jumble. Hmm. So do I need to do something with this? I think I do. But maybe I need to find something else first. So you keep standing in my way. It's pretty annoying. A rake. Why take it, Holmes? Yeah, I don't know that. Because again. Hmm. There was not a door over there. Wait, let's go back. Oh, a window. Look at it. This window overlooks the room belonging to the nephew of the Bishop of Knightsbridge. 
the nephew of the Bishop of Knightsbridge. Hmm. Alright, so this is where the nephew was. But still, I don't know. Why did I get closed. this location? This is closed. Is that what Wiggins gave me, maybe? Because he also gave me something. Do I need to use that break for this? I don't understand, I don't understand why. I mean, I have it now. What is this? Watson, can you help what me? What do you think, Holmes? No, you cannot. Over those plants. <laughs> I don't know what to do. Okay, look at this. There's this something is... interesting here. There is. Good, we can pass. Oh, that was easy. That all I can do here, really. And open it from this side. What? That's so weird. Is it everything? Hmm. Oh, there's stuff here that I missed. This newspaper is four days old. The bishop's nephew was being watched long before his uncle's murder. The Strand. We estimate that nearly half the population of London is threatened by a serious food crisis. At present, the most deprived areas are in a critical situation. The shortage, shortage that rages throughout these areas of the capital risk turning into famine if the public authorities do not react. All right. The remains of a small meal. Someone has stayed here rather a long time. And this? Nothing of interest here. Seem interesting to me, but all right. So it how is does just as I thought. Here's an ideal view of Henry's room. Hmm. Interesting. So does that mean that that other room that's for rent that someone stayed there and then watched him? But then I still don't know what to do with all this stuff. So let's go back into the garden, take another look. Oh wait, what's that over there? Let's check it. No, it is unnecessary. Mm, maybe with this? Yes. This clothing is torn. The man who stole it must have caught it on a tree when he stood upon the fence. And at the moment when he jumped, he left this jacket in the tree. Yes, Watson. Garden gum shoe. So, whoops, wrong button. How do I get to my... Medals, cunning gum shoe. With the usual happy mixture of cunning and audacity, you recovered all that was stolen. Audacity, they say. Should I now tell that lady that I found the jacket, maybe? But I said something, but I did not. Oh, Is this I the did. washing you were looking for? Oh yes, that's it. Where did you find it? On the ground. Doubtless blown there by the wind. They didn't steal it, then. I'd have felt better knowing that those lurkers were nothing more than clothes thieves. That is not the I case, agree. madam. This affair seems to be rather more serious than that. It appears that these intruders were spying on Henry. Now, please, let us see his room. Gracious me, whatever next. Come in. Take the first door on the left. It's open. He never locks it. Never? No, never. Well, you know him. He doesn't do things like everyone else. He lives in a world of his own. When did you see him last? Did he say anything to you? 
Yesterday morning, he just muttered a few words. I can't always understand what he's saying. When he does talk, that is. Oh, no, I know what it is. I can ask him a question, but he just stares off somewhere. The floor, the ceiling, as if I wasn't there. At first, I found it strange, but I've gotten used to it. Yes, I know exactly what you mean. He's sometimes nervous too, isn't he? Oh, yes, as soon as anything upsets him. Even when he's alone in his room, he gets cross. And then the next second, he is standing stock still. He stares off into space and calms down again as fast as he became angry. That is weird. But I think they're speaking about that um, guy which you already saw in the opium den with the beard. He was speaking about a mumbo jumbo, what do you call it? Not words. But the other guy did seem to understand him perfectly fine. But this is where we just were. This door. This is not a big house. Let's go into his room. It is spacious. He has a violin. A violin. It is a lovely one. But where's its case? Maybe it's not his then. And also, why is that rock uh, folded like that? There's something interesting here. There's something, There's something interesting here. What do I have? Nothing. And also, I can't use this from here. Oh, I can. There's something in a box. Let's see. Another puzzle, I think. Find a way to open the box. I am missing some information. All right. Can he scratched the lock's cipher codes for himself. Watson, write them down for us. Why? You can see it right here, can't you? So, I can rotate. Oh, there are more. It is noted. All right. So, these are Roman numerals. This is two. And then the numbers 4152632. This, if I can see it, is the number four. 10, 8, 6, 3, 7, 11. So, I think that two has to come first, then four. And then I have one and three, probably. This is three. It is noted. That's one. This is one. I have noted down everything. This lock is very complex. The young Henry is remarkably intelligent. See, Sherlock already puts them in the right order. After playing around with it for a while, I figured out what the numbers need to be, as I'll show you in a minute. But before I do, I'll quickly explain the last one, as I apparently entered the right number while I was still puzzling. And Sherlock scared me when he started to speak when I did not expect him to. For the last one, number 4, you have to look at the difference between the numbers from left to right. The difference between 10 and 8 is 2, and between 8 and 6 is also 2. Between 3 and 7 is 4, and between 7 and 11 is also 4. So the only possible difference here is 1, and thus the answer is 3. This one I need to add, 1 plus 2 is 3, and 2 plus 3 is 5. So 3 plus 5 is 8. So this is 8. This one. 4 plus 2 is 6 plus 3 is 9. This is 9. So this needs to be a 1 to make 9. This one. 21, 18, 16, 15 is minus 3, minus 2, minus 1. Minus 3, minus 2, minus 1, minus 3, minus 2, so this is a 4. And this one? Empty. But according to the label, this box contained a Colt Patterson. It is a powerful weapon, Holmes. And judging by the receipt, it was new. Oh my gosh, it scared me. I thought I had to do the last one still, but I got it right already. Oh, I literally jump scared a bit there. All right, so the last one, what I needed to do, I can't see it anymore, can I? Empty. It is up. No, I cannot. But what I needed to do was... Count difference. So the top line was 10, 8, 6, so the difference was 2. The middle line was the difference 4, and below... It needs to be a 3. Oh, yeah, I got that right, by the way. All right. So, 
solve that. So apparently, what did he say? There was a weapon in there? I didn't really listen because it was... He scared me too much. Empty. But according to the label, this box contained a Colt Patterson. It is a powerful weapon, Holmes. And judging by the receipt, it was new. And did we find a weapon? I don't think we did. At least not a gun. And did that priest get threatened by a gun? I don't know that. It is an impressive library for someone living alone. And he's read all that. Impressive. Maybe he's not living alone then. Also, how can he read when he can't even speak? This candle is still hot. It's been used recently. During the day? Whatever for? What is this strange installation? It is, I think, to see if the rope will burn or how long it will take. But why would you need that? This rubbish bin was emptied, and then someone threw a torn piece of paper in it. And judging by the smell, there was also an onion. Onion? Let us put these torn pieces of paper on the table. Yeah, why not? What table? Oh, whoops. No. Over here? This is a puzzle, quite literally. I can, oh, I can rotate. like there's really nothing on here so hope it's not a lot of effort for nothing did it both sides of the paper are blank all this for nothing Holmes perhaps not Watson hey why didn't you use the pencil what do you mean perhaps not and you just whoops you just put it away Where did you put it? Sherlock? Can't do anything with that. Do we need to use it over the candle maybe? That could be. Wait, matches? And the paper. I need something. Don't you need the paper? Do you need something? Oh, maybe these. And now the paper. What's on there? What does it say? Stinging Street Wharf? Oh, I need to inspect. Stinging Street Wharf 1, 2, 3, South Bank. Isn't this already right? Do I need to put it in the right order? South Bank. Is it? The address of a dock on the Thames. Stingian Street, Wharf 321, South Bank. Message written in onion juice. That's why it smelled like onions. His coat is gone. No hat, no coat. Who's making that noise, by the way? Pens? Or what is He that? got his scarf out, but he forgot to take it. My dear Watson, in the garden and in this room, pieces are missing that should never have left their places. What do you think? All right, so he makes Watson solve this riddle instead of just telling it. In the garden and in this room, pieces are missing that should never have left their places. I think the violin, this, it's weird, it's out of place. The shovel, he said that. Coat and head, no. Scarf. That's not right. Start again. The gun? 
Quick, Watson, there's not a moment to lose. Go and thank that charming lady while I try to recapture our new friend. Recapture? New friend? What makes you think that he has run away? I believe that our man suffers from behavioral problems. You must have seen or heard about those poor fellows who spend their time counting the gravel stones in the garden or moving objects from one place to another hundreds of times in one day. Well, the bishop's nephew suffers from a moderate form of this condition. Nothing would be more disturbing to him than to leave a personal space in such chaos. And yet this is what he has done with this room. For it to reach such a state of neglect can only indicate that he was in a most desperate situation. And do you think that you can catch him? Yes. The candle here is still warm, so he left only a few minutes before our arrival. But it is the missing violin case and the large pistol which concern me. We know that he is quick-tempered and volatile. It is never wise to leave a gun quite capable of killing a bull in the hands of someone like that. Did he yes, leave sir. to go to the address which was written in the invisible ink, do you think? Undoubtedly, Watson. And as for the missing spade, I can tell you that it will be used for digging. Are you ever going to stop delaying <laughs> me with endless questions? So, gentlemen, have you found anything? We have learned enough to promise you that they will not return. That makes me feel better. Thank you, gentlemen. We are going to pay a visit to that mysterious address, Watson. But first, we must detour to Lambeth. Lambeth? What are we going to do there? Pick up an old friend. He will be a precious help in our locating Mr. Hampford. Good. I think it is Stoby. And who is this friend? Uh, a Stoby. friend who helped us in the case you so romantically titled The Sign of the Four. It has to be. He has a very good nose. Who else could it be? Yes, it is. That's Toby. And also, Devil's Daughter, you can become the daughter. Here we are at the address that the nephew took such care to hide. I wonder what it is that links this place with the bishop's murder. The reason for the quarrel between the young man and his uncle is somewhere here in this industrial area. And that is what he has come to look for this evening. It's an enormous area, and there are dozens of potential hiding places. How on earth are we going to find him? The old dog, Toby, is the best sleuth hound in town. There he is. If the extraordinary Mr. Hamford is here, Toby will find him without any doubt. But I've rarely seen such an old dog. <laughs> old dog. Do you really trust his sense of smell, Holmes? He does. Absolutely. Besides, you are going to follow him. Take the bark and go around that disused factory. If the nephew wishes to run away, he can do so only through there. If you find him, hold on to him until I rejoin you. Very well. Get ready, Watson. Let the battle commence. I don't remember any of this. Toby's sense of smell is legendary, but he needs to know what he is looking for. So give him the scarf. Search, Toby. Search. There's a good dog. I am coming him. Cool. That's also in the Devil's Order for sure. And maybe also Crimes and Punishments. I don't really know that for sure. I don't see a sense of smell though. Oh, here it is. Toby, you have found his trail. I did. Is that a nose? Supposed to be nose? That's funny. In the other games you have this kind of smoke. Uh, looks like green smoke or something you need to follow. Mm, no, I can't go here, so which way would he have gone then? Can I run? <laughs> this is funny, look at him run. What's this? Did this fall down by accident? I think I need to go up here. Those leggies. <laughs> I don't think he came here for a drink. Could be. So... I found his trail and now I don't see anything else. That's weird. Maybe over here? Yes. Our man came this way. Run, run. I can sniff almost everything. Also, oh, here was something. Nothing, nothing of nothing. interest here. No, that's what I thought. This too. He wasn't able to get past here. He was wounded. So this is interesting. He was wounded. Alright. So, now what? Did he turn back? 
guess I think it may be done this way. I can do it myself. What a clever doggy. More footsteps. He's not barking now. I don't know if I need to do that. The lever is stuck. Alright. I think I need to bark again for Sherlock to come. But I don't see how I can. Hmm. Maybe this way? All those noises. Our man came this way. But wasn't Watson supposed to follow me? And now Sherlock is walking behind me. I don't understand it. What is Watson doing? No, he didn't go this way. I think he went the other way. Greece! Okay. Why would you need that? We came this way, but uh, I can jump here. What now? Shulok, are you gonna help me? I already barked here. Or maybe, do I need that grease to use on that lever? Yes. Or maybe not. Do I need to jump over there? There's this little doggy. Can I go here? Closed. No, okay. Let's go back. Be careful. Alright, and now do I have to choose? I don't know which way. Let me see. I can go. This is probably too far. This one is wiser, maybe. Mm, I need to go here. This one? I don't want to kill the dog. And also, Shilok is just standing there watching this dog do all this on its own. Like any normal dog would just do this. It's so weird. Now what? I'm stuck. So I can't go this way. I need to come back. I mean, I understand it's a game, but this part is not very realistic. But it is funny. <laughs> also, I tend to have a good memory, but I don't remember any of this. Although it may have been 10 years or so that I played this game. Maybe even longer, so I guess you can remember everything. Now I can go there. And how is Shula gonna follow me then? Don't fall through. Alright, now what? This way? Or not? Yes, footsteps. Are you not gonna bark? Are oh, you gonna do this so Shula can follow? Clever doggy! Good dog, Toby! You say that again? I don't know any dog who could do that. This way. I don't know. I don't see anything. Ah, more footsteps. He left by this door. All right. Let's do that too then. Locked from the inside. Now what? Do we need Watson? No, the dog has to do it again. <laughs> oh my god. I mean, I get it when Sherlock tries to let Watson do everything, but his dog? Come on, you can do something.
And also, why wasn't Toby at home? Why was he somewhere else? What did he say? I forgot. The town. The place. Let's see. Go down again, I think. Can I just open this? Well done, Toby. Oh. You are a true detective. I can say that again. I've put in more effort than you so far. Footsteps are over here. Now Some what? ice picks are missing. Ice picks? The door is locked, but we can force it. We? What do you mean, we? Are you gonna force it? The door is locked, but we can force it. Uh, but I don't know how. Are you gonna do it or not? No, it's not gonna do anything. He used ice picks to climb through the window. That is smart. And how are we gonna force the door? You're not gonna tell me that. Is this where I came from? I don't know. Yes. There's nothing here, is there? Can't use the window. Hmm. He says, but we can force it. But I don't know how to force it. What's this? Oh, so I do have to do everything. <laughs> oh my god. That's just sad. Where's Sherlock? Alright, let's go. Which way? Climb through the window over there, so maybe this way over oh, here. Footsteps. They go this way. All right. Did he go this way? No. This is a dead end. I need to go. I haven't already been here. I might have. Oh no, you have footsteps again. Oh, that is weird. It isn't hmm. over yet. It would be better not to go down there. be better to cross the bridge but I don't know if we can do that I probably have to get in here I don't know what the doggy has to do go this way our man must be on the other side of the gate yeah I figured that are you not gonna do something Sherlock I need to get on here. Oh, now I have a ball. <laughs> Standing there. <laughs> I think a dog would be way too scared to do something like this. It's not realistic at all. <laughs> to jump off something like that and just stand still while it's moving. No way. 
Um. Well, he went this way, they say, but where did he go next? There's a door over here. But see, these footste footsteps are leading away. So that is confusing to me. Does the game do that to show you which way you have to go? Because it wouldn't make sense for him to leave through that door, would it? Or do I need to go up here? It looks like a stairs. Yes, probably. <laughs> That's so funny. This is where he went. But he won't bark. Can I jump? What does this mean? I think I need to bark first so Shula can come. Because apparently he won't follow me on his own. Alright, I know why I don't remember this part anymore. It's kind of boring. Sherlock, are you coming or what are you doing? Do I need to open the gate first? I think I do. I don't know how. There's a line here. So I need to open the gate for Sherlock. But how? He's just standing there. <laughs> Sherlock, help me. Help me help you. So let me think. We have a bridge. Which this doggy, he can't do anything with it. I would say pull on this rope to open the door. But he cannot do that for some reason. But I can't switch characters. Whoops, can I? No, I can't go to my menu. So I don't know. Do I need to push this card somehow? Oh, yes. work I think it's a bit brute but still <laughs> he's swocking like it la, la, la. normal bridge nothing going on here all right so now I can go up here maybe and bark or something Toby don't jump let us find another way in I see you needed to be here all right, another way in. There is a door over there. I don't know if that's what you mean, Sherlock. This? Locked from the inside. So that's not an option. What other way is there to go in? Because this is somewhere else. This is not it. Oh, this is in school. Which I can apparently only do when Sherlock is here. Carriage tracks. Yeah, I saw those, but... Well, what does that mean? Do I need to go over here? I pressed the wrong button, but fine. I don't mind the hint. Ah, smart doggy. Search, Toby. Search. Here's a good dog. Again, the dog is doing everything. Well, I'm not controlling him, am I? Oh, now I am. I have a medal. But I cannot look at it. The beautiful, faithful nature of dog. No, I have to do that with Sherlock. Which makes sense, because why could would the dog be able to look at your inventory? <laughs> now I can go down. You're welcome. Alright, the door just opened to the inside, which is weird, but still. Hmm. This is a maze. 
Can I go up here? I can. Alright, I'm just going somewhere. I don't know if this is the right way. I'm just doing it. Because <laughs> I can. Oh, I can go this way. And now what? Plus Sherlock in the process, I think. Oops. Aren't you too old for this journey? Never. <laughs> there he goes. You control Sherlock. Finally, I can take a look at my medal, maybe. In not. Oh, I pressed the wrong button all along. It's this. Sleuth Hound, the beautiful faithful age of dogs. It's this bronze one or something. Legacy. Hmm. Maybe if that's if you complete the game. So we lost Toby, so we need to find our man, but how? We have no nose. At least not a doggy nose. There is someone down there. Is that our man? With the violin. It has to be. How do we get there? Do we need to trick him or ambush him somehow? Sherlock, do you not see him? And also, I remember starting this game, uh, they say that Sherlock is um, suspicious or showing suspicious behavior and everybody is doubting him and thinking that he is behind everything but I haven't really seen anything like that yet so does that mean that that is still to come because it feels like we're almost at the end of the game but maybe we're not that he needs to prove his innocence I mean that hasn't happened yet there he is get him Safe here. Safe. Whew. This is someone else. Don't be afraid. But Keep calm. It's you. Stay away. <laughs> Come I want to talk to you. Don't be hysterical. Drop your gun. I don't trust you. You're out to get me. Don't come any closer. I thought you were following him. <laughs> Whoops. Kind of hurts, but it was an accident. What have you been doing? Could he use some help? The poor man. What a dreadful end. He has definitely gone. But why was he afraid of you? He was terrified when he saw you. He must have mistaken me for someone else. Let's go. We have nothing more to do here. We have but been running around all night, Holmes, and I've had enough. And that poor young man. Let's find a police station and... There's no question of calling the police, is that understood? Instead, let us see how we might continue our investigation. Very well, Holmes. Holmes, it seems that everywhere we go, there is a catastrophe. And here we are at a standstill. Let us return to Baker Street as quickly as possible. Oh, all right, I wanted to look around, but I guess not. Uh, so, are we gonna go to Baker Street and then the police will be there and they will arrest Sherlock? Did you like this video? Check out my other videos on my page, follow Miko, and don't forget to subscribe.